what what what's causing indigestion in the markets it could be ta tax loss selling uh that and that should be winding up pretty soon it could be leverage in the marketplace uh, we know that uh, a lot of uh, maybe especially younger people uh, have taken on leverage, but I think uh, the leverage the leverage in the ecosystem was high enough to suggest that many others were on margin as well. So we're certainly seeing that cleaned out uh, uh, and um, and resetting. Kathy Wood delivered her in the know market report in which she covered a variety of topics such as labor market, commodities, China, and fiscal policy, amongst other things. But one of the most important topics that she covered came when the importance of not panicking or letting FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt, make people sell. Her remarks came right on time, as Bitcoin and the crypto market took a plunge, with Bitcoin going below $43,000. She stayed in her conviction of looking long-term with a five years' time horizon and not being distracted by the crashes in the short term. Kathy Wood has not wavered on her belief that Bitcoin will be worth 500k in the future, and she stated that her portfolio is on track for some amazing returns. Listen to what she had to say. You know, I've been getting the question, what keeps you awake at night? Uh, and um, I can tell you, honestly, the one thing that keeps me up at night is that as the market goes down and our strategy is uh, punished disproportionately, uh, my what keeps me up at night is knowing that uh, some people are going to panic if they're looking at their accounts on a day to day basis. Uh, you know, we keep saying uh, almost every time I talk, I say we have a five year investment time horizon. And uh, at the moment, uh, we are close to from an expectations point of view. Uh, a record in terms of what we expect from our portfolios during the next five years at a compound annual rate of return. Uh, I've seen it uh, only higher once, and that was after the rout in the fourth quarter of 18. And uh, based on our expectations at that time, uh, we believed that our portfolios would deliver a compound annual rate of return of 42%. So that's 42% over five years. That's more than a quintupling. Uh, and we're just about there again. So again, uh, ahead of just spectacular growth rates, exponential growth rates uh, associated with the innovation platforms. Uh, so DNA sequencing, robotics, energy storage, artificial intelligence, and blockchain technology. And even more importantly, the convergence between and among those platforms. We believe that our companies, from a revenue growth point of view and ultimately a profit growth point of view, are going to show exponential growth rates. And we would assume, now we may not be right, but we would assume uh, that the stocks would award them uh, or the market would reward them accordingly. Kathy has seen many different cycles in her career, but she is extremely bullish on the development and convergence of many technology sectors and how this is an opportunity that people have not seen in their lifetime. Her stance on blockchain technology, specifically Bitcoin and Ethereum being part of that convergence, is no secret. She has stayed consistent with her stance that DeFi and NFTs are going to be bigger than we believe. In her report, she pointed out a very interesting observation about the relationship between young working adults, the labor market, and blockchain. The, the topic of DeFi and DAOs, distributed autonomous organizations, and NFTs came up. Uh, it seems as though there are a lot of people who are, have become a part of this movement. Many, many young people who graduated from terrific colleges are leaving their engineering and other jobs at Google and Facebook and Amazon to pursue this dream. And they don't even know really where they're going. They're experimenting, they're exploring, and they're trying to find their way in this new world. Uh, this, this is a, it, it's really could define the future of work where uh, it will be itemized. You have the scale of the internet to support new distributed autonomous organizations. 
And uh, we think it's, while it's somewhat difficult to understand right now, uh, it will become clearer. I always say, follow the developers. And that's what we're doing. And they are uh, scrambling into this new world uh, uh, much more rapidly uh, than they scrambled into the internet, uh, I believe, in its early days. Or I know, again, because we do watch the developers. So um, that could be causing significant distortions in ways that uh, we won't understand perhaps for years. And certainly the economic statistics are not going to keep up with this. Uh, they're going to be revised and revised and revised until the government really has a handle on it. And, and that could take 10 years. Uh, I think that the innovation stocks that have been pummeled in here, many of them are a quarter to a third of where they were earlier this year. Uh, I believe they are going to be the big winners once we confirm that the inflation is transitory, that there's a recession risk out there. And when there's a fear of a recession, uh, value stocks get hit hard. And I do believe there is something to this. And when inflation gets hit, uh, value stocks get hit hard. Uh, so stay, stay tuned for that. Um, the other thing that I'd like to tell you, now these are just our strategies, but my guess is uh, other, other innovation-oriented portfolios uh, would have these sorts of opportunities. Um, uh, at the peak in, in uh, February, uh, our strategies, according to our estimates, which as you know, Wright's Law plays a central uh, casting role. Um, our, our strategies, we believed, were going to deliver a 15% compound in annual rate of return over the next five years. So that's a doubling over five years, not bad, nearly twice as much as what equity markets typically deliver over time. Today, Assuming that our valuations are crushed down to fang-like multiples in five years, uh, we believe that uh, our, our strategies, certainly the flagship, every, all of the innovation platforms to, uh, together, uh, are going to deliver close to a 40% compound annual rate of return. That's a quintupling over five years. Uh, so uh, we actually are much more comfortable today than we were in February uh, in terms of the outlook for our strategies. If you want to watch the full report, check the link in the description below. If you found value in the video, please hit the like button. It only takes a second, but it greatly helps the channel. And more importantly, it helps YouTube find someone similar to you who wants to stay up to date on the world of cryptocurrency. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and bell notification to be notified every time we release a new video. If you're interested in buying cryptocurrency, check out our Binance link in the description where you can earn up to $100 in rewards. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.